Hello, distinguished delegates and delegations. My name is Kate, and I'm here representing the National Whistleblower Center. NWC is really encouraged to see that so many members of civil society and states' parties have called for the implementation of a dedicated whistleblower resolution. We want to contribute some thoughts on what such a resolution would look like um, and particularly encourage the use of the quote unquote ACE model um, for best practice whistleblower provisions. In this model, A stands for anonymity. Um, as many of you know, Article 33 and 32 of UNCAC call for the protections of people who it's generally um, considered to include whistleblowers. And this protection is only possible if whistleblowers can come forward without the government or the um, corporations implicated ever knowing their identity. This is possible through the establishment of explicit whistleblower offices, which would bring cases or investigations forward against the implicated party rather than having the whistleblower themselves bring them forward, therefore revealing uh, identifying information. Um, the second aspect of the ACE model is the C or compensation. Um, that can look like either providing whistleblowers with a portion of the sanction acquired or at the bare minimum, it looks like giving whistleblowers compensation for the legal fees they've incurred, as well as any salary lost through retaliation. Um, in Article 37 of the convention, UNCAC calls for the incentivization of people who have borne witness to corruption um, to provide their information. And this compensation system works to do that. At the end of the day, the information that is necessary in order to prosecute crimes of corruption is only held in many instances by those who have participated to some extent in the crime. And a financial incentivization works to help these people um, take the risk of reporting because it's less of a risk with that financial backing. And the final aspect of uh, the ACE model would be enforcement. So whistleblowers need to know that their claims can result in effective enforcement. We in our written statement particularly focus on two key categories of corruption, those being environmental crime and money laundering. Um, over 300 members of civil society wrote an open letter uh, emphasizing the need for a safe and enabling environment for environmental whistleblowers. Um, and safe and enabling, we interpret to basically mean that there's whistleblower protection and financial incentivization or compensation. As far as money laundering goes, the entirety of Article 14 of the convention is dedicated to anti-money laundering provisions. And we know that oftentimes those who are high up executives in um, financial corporations are the only people who have information about corruption and money laundering occurring here, which is why implementing ACE model best practice whistleblower programs is so necessary. Thank you so much, and I look forward to speaking with many of you.